Hello and welcome to Super Mario All-Star, a collaboration of all the classic Mario games, Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, which also features the Lost Level as well, which is very hard. So we're going to be playing this in the Super Nintendo Classic, even though it's the same thing. And we're going to start off with the first Mario game, the one that somehow started it all even though this is a recreation of the original game. So with that said, let's start off with Super Mario Brothers. And as you can see, this is also the last level along with two and three, but we're gonna start off with the first game. So with that said, let's begin. Alright, so right off the bat you may notice the sprite works on the level, all the details in the background along with Mario. It's a pretty simple premise. Just gather up enough coins and reach the finish line and save the princess and all that. It's a pretty basic platform game, so let's start off. Let's get it started. World 1. And there's Mario. So basically I heard that Mario was getting cancelled at the end of March because I don't know pretty much the Italian stereotype and as you can see I messed up but it turns out it was an April Fool prank. And there we go. This also features secret entrance or passage or whatever. But I'm not gonna go through that. I'm just gonna show you some of the details on how to get played this for all you newbies. And the reason why I'm doing this as I'm trying to take it easy on, or take a break on some of the M-rated games and go to the kid-friendly or family-oriented games instead. And there you have it. I beat the um, first level. Just get to the finish line where the flag is. And I made it. And to level two. Pretty simple. So I got the flower power. Gives you fire power. You just shoot fireballs and all that. And this coin gives you extra. Extra coin. The box I meant. It's kind of hard to explain this, but there are rumors that in the story, the antagonist, King Bowser, turned all the mushroom people into blocks. So basically I'm just killing off all the people right now, like that was somebody. Alright, let's move on. Don't want to do any more harm. And as you can see, there's one of them secret level or bonus level. And there's me in the background. And there's the extra coin block. Piranha Plan in there. And these are the Goombas. It's 
So there is a secret passage over there in this part, but we're gonna skip that and just move on to the next level instead. I'll do that in the next video. I'm just gonna show you, explain. And just like that, we already got to the finish line. I really cannot talk today. And we made it to world three. World one, three, I meant. And most of these turtles, or Koopas, some of them can walk through the thing off a cliff based on the shell. The green one can do that, not the red one. All right, there's one of these guys now. And if I do mess up, I can just reset this and start off where I made a mistake because I'm playing the Nintendo Classic like a cheapskate. And just like that, it's pretty fast. And there is the main castle where Bowser is hiding. Or one of the boss. And there's the main antagonist, Bowser, the bad guy. I'm just gonna skip this because there's a mushroom. I already got the power anyway. Dang it. Alright, I have to start over again. I'm going to try not to touch any of this. And there's Bowser's portrait. And the fired ball he's shooting at. That means we're nearby. And there's Bowser himself. I could just either shoot the fireballs or... Hold on. Oh, that wasn't Bowser. That was just a decoy. I could just shoot the fireballs or just use that axe at the end of the ledge. That would just throw them off the lava. Thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle. So those are the toads. And you're going to have to find one of them in every end of them level. So now we're in the next level. And it's just like, repeat the same process. It's pretty, pretty easier for me to do it because I already could save this. And that's another thing I didn't notice. Mario's wearing... In the beginning, he wo he wears red overalls and a blue sweater. They changed it to a blue overall and red sweater. I don't know why. I really like the details on the mountains in the background. I mean, like in the original Nintendo version, it doesn't have anything. But since this is a remake of the first game, they did a lot better. Alright, so in the second part of the level, instead of going to the cave, you're in the underwater part. 
understand these annoying squids will follow you. I don't even know how somebody can hold that hold their breath in the ocean that long. Ooh, that was a close one. I'm just gonna shoot all these things out of the way. That's tricky. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> mm. Gotta collect enough coins for another life. And we made it to the end of the area. Very easy. And we made it to a different location. Also be careful, there are those Fish jumping on the air. Trouters, I think they're called. Actually, this is one of the first game that ever that I ever played in my life as a child. I was obsessed with Mario. Dang it. Alright, I'm not gonna bother with the thing. So yeah. I was obsessed with Super Mario as a child. Always draw pictures, watch the cartoon. I was insanely crazy about it. In fact, this was the first game that got me interested in video games as a child. Besides Kirby or Sonic and later the Resident Evil games and whatnot. So now we made it again with the second boss fight, and it's the same boss, Bowser. And just like before, defeat him the same way. Or not. Alright, in this part, however, you have to go into a the room goes repeatedly in the same place. I don't think it's this one though, but in a later level, it's just gonna be like some sort of puzzle room that you have to follow in different angles. I don't know. And there's Bowser again. Or not, it's just another decoy. <sighs> another toad's gonna say the same thing. Only this is two of them. And now this is the snow level. Try to skip this as much as I can. Or at least find a secret beanstalk, which is another thing. It can grant you access to a further world. Thank you for that star. And these enemies are 
a pain to deal with. They'll throw a hammer at you, make you lose a life. You just have to either hit them under them instead of over, on top of them, whatever. I'm gonna see if I can try to find that beanstalk thing. I don't think it's here, but I'll try anyway. Or another simple achievement. Now oh, this isn't a dumb tunnel I was thinking, but this is a different. Let me try this. So if I hit all these enemies, I get a life. Extra life. You say I can do this again. Nope, I can't. Ah. All right, now I can do this. There we go. No secret entrance. It's actually, there's no water level or cave level in this part. Maybe in the next world. Out of the way, you. And so basically in this part, I'm not going to be talking. Actually, I'm not even saying anything. And once again, we're in the second castle. That was pretty fast. Hopefully this is the puzzle room I'm talking about. There we go. Dang it. Let's try this again. And yes, I've been doing the... Re rewinding the gameplay so I can start over again. So yes, I am restarting the game again. Hopefully this fireball thing doesn't pop out. There we go. And this may not be the puzzle room I'm talking about. Not this time. I don't have time for you, faker. And of course, this is the same thing again. Save our princess in another castle, all that stuff. It's kind of annoying. Oh, I remember these guys. So basically these guys throw these spike ball things. Yeah. So they throw these guys throw these spike balls to summon the turtles. And I'm having a hard time. 
dealing with these things. Dang it. Alright, I can do this again. There you go. Not so tough now with your machine. Nope. There we go, there's a nip. And unfortunately I can't get through here. Because I don't have time for that. See what this this thing is. Oh, good. It's pretty simple. I know. All right. So now we're in the we're back in the cave level. Oh, that's pretty tough. Hold up. I can do this. Yes, I can. Damn it. Alright, let's try this. Now we got it. Let me see if I can try to get to that higher edge. There we go. We can just do this. This is easier, so we don't have to deal with the obstacle around us. So we don't have to deal with any of these guys. And look at this. We just made our way to a different time warp. So this here can help you move on to the next zone instead of going through the process again. And we made it to the ice world. Snow world, whatever. We're just skipping on the Koop, the, not the um, Koopas, but the Toad talking about saving the princess in another castle. Let me see if I can try to find a secret pipe here. And I can hear more backgrounds and noise in the background. And there's a bullet bill. There's a cannon over there though. Hmm, I got an ex extra life. Nice. Damn it. Let me try this. There we go. Enter this area. One of the part of the song kind of reminds me of one scene, one part from The Simpsons. The Simpsons theme. Whatever. Let's just move on.
Now well, I gotta have to deal with both the um, Bullet Bills and Hammer Brothers. Those guys that her carries the hammer. These guys. I gotta make everything perfect, do I? There we go. Oh, look at that. I made my way to a water world. I gotta deal with these squids. And there's one of these tank titanium turtle things. Impossible to kill. You're gonna have to use your uh, star power to get rid of them. Or you kick them, whatever. And looks like the snow is gone. We're back in this tropical area. Oh, that was a close one. That's all right. Easy. All right, so the idea from the last level is that you can skip through the zones instead of dealing with the obstacle. And I'm guessing, ooh, that fireballs. That was a close one. That fireball, fireball was too long. So somewhere around this part, some of the room will change. Yeah. Some of the rooms will change depending on which part you touch or you go. But I don't think this is it still. I'm going to have to skip these coins for now. Later. Of course, you're not the real Bowser, so you know how that's gonna end. Another decoy. <sighs> and now there are five. Looks like I'm gonna have to call this quits for now. Well, there you have it. That's Super Mario Brothers. We're going to continue on with that our adventure next time in the video. So, thank you for watching this. If there's anything that you like about this comment, this content, excuse me, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.